So Randex were established in 2004 and we are the sole distributor for Welland Lager Systems and now Welland Solutions. The Welland Group is a major provider of, of industrial solutions within many different sectors in Sweden and throughout the world. Um, the, our partners we work with is Welland Solutions, which is one of the companies which focus on the vertical lift and storage systems industries. We are featuring at this exhibition Compact Lift, which is our, our, our core product. Um, this is designed obviously by Welland Solutions. The key features of Compact Lift are that it has its design is based on rack and pinion uh, drive system. The rack and pinion system enables us to, to have a twin elevator which can handle two trays at once, which means that while the operator is picking from one tray in the opening, the elevator can be ret retrieving another tray from up to 20 meters in the machine, turning it into the opening, getting ready to present once the operator's finished picking from one tray. This enables us to deliver the fastest picking speed machine in, of this class. Compact Twin has been very popular within the distribution centers where people are reliant on speed of picking and picking accuracy because of the speed it can achieve in delivering trays to the opening. To get in touch with Randex, please contact us via our website, which is www.randex.com.
So Randex were established in 2004 and we are the sole distributor for Welland Lager Systems and now Welland Solutions. The Welland Group is a major provider of, of industrial solutions within many different sectors in Sweden and throughout the world. Um, the, our partners we work with is Welland Solutions, which is one of the companies which focus on the vertical lift and storage systems industries. We are featuring at this exhibition Compact Lift, which is our, our, our core product. Um, this is designed obviously by Welland Solutions. The key features of Compact Lift are that it has its design is based on rack and pinion uh, drive system. The rack and pinion system enables us to, to have a twin elevator which can handle two trays at once, which means that while the operator is picking from one tray in the opening, the elevator can be retrieving another tray from up to 20 meters in the machine, turning it into the opening, getting ready to present once the operator has finished picking from one tray. This enables us to deliver the fastest picking speed machine in, of this class. Compact Twin has been very popular within the distribution centers where people are reliant on speed of picking and picking accuracy because of the speed it can achieve in delivering trays to the opening. To get in touch with Randex, please contact us via our website, which is www.randex.com. So I'm here on the Swiss log stand with this amazing technology called AutoStore, and I'm joined with Shane. Hi, Shane. Hi. Could you tell us about the beauty of this technology? Uh, I can, yes. Um, Swiss Log and Auto Store have had a, a long relationship. Yeah, we're, we're a global supplier of Auto Store. We have done 160 installations worldwide, uh, and we're the, the leading distributor of, of Auto Store. Yeah, um, in terms of uh, it's a 24/7 operation. Yeah, in terms of those robot robots don't take a break. Yeah, they're, they're working continuously. Yeah, for our clients. Yeah, and it is one of the leading technologies for density of storage. Yeah. Uh, it's also very, very flexible with, with growth demands. You add more robots as, as the business grows itself. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's very flexible. So what would you say is the future of a technology like this? Uh, it lends itself to, to the future and future technologies uh, that, that here at Swisslog that we do. Uh, so we have something called item pick, yeah? So that is um, increasing efficiency in the warehouse uh, by, by removing maybe sometimes repetitive tasks or man, manual labor, yeah? To make the uh, overall efficiency uh, uh, much more efficient for, for any, any business. Fantastic, thank you Shane for sharing that with us. So I'm at the Honeywell Intelligrator stand with Tony. Um, Tony, can you tell us a little bit about this machine? Hi, um, the Honeywell Intelligrated IntelliSort is the premier line sortation solution in the Honeywell Intelligrated portfolio. Our key differentiator in this sorter is our soft touch technology, which allows us to touch the product with less, in, less initial impact. Um, which really will impact product line that has a low center of gravity and is very tall and prevent the product from tumbling. Now you may be wondering what this little device is. Well, it's a new bit of tech from HMHS and Tommy's going to tell me what it does. So the idea of this is that there's a pedestrian alert safe system. You have a box that goes on a forklift truck. Okay. You have an antenna and an antenna on either side of it. Mm -hmm. It gets hardwired into the ignition. You turn on the ignition of the forklift truck and then basically what will happen is every person who's in a red zone or in a danger zone with the forklift truck will have one of these around their neck. So it can be set from 0.5 meters mm -hmm. up to six meter radius. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, is that when the forklift truck's driving around, mm -hmm. anyone that goes in the radius that the forklift truck can't see from a blind spot, this would not start to vibrate. James will turn it on, we'll show you what it does. Yeah. It starts to go like that. You can really see and hear that. So then the pedestrian will then know that he's in a danger zone and it's then the forklift truck driver will be notified as well. Fantastic. Southgate stand with Dale. 
who is going to be telling us a little bit about Southgate's new pallet strapper, which is new on display this year. It, um, it's designed for 3PL sheds, um, retailers who are dispatching in the excess of five, 600 pallets a day, um, and encouraging them to move away from a manual process mm -hmm. um, to more of an automated inline system. This machine has the capability to um, do a cycle every 13 seconds, so it can comfortably do 100 pallets an hour. It's our inline sortation, which incorporates our Optimax strapping machine and the sortation module. So, with the sort, starting with the sortation module, um, that will recognise parcels um, and send it in a predefined air, um, location. The reason why the market needs robot piece picking is that this is the next step of automation in the warehouse. Our robotic piece picking solution is so good due to the gripper, which allows us to do a very good pick of a wide range of products. The system is data driven, which means that it's model free. We can pick items that we've never seen before and it will improve over time due to the machine learning. The system is so good because it's collaborative, meaning that it's really, really easy to deploy the system in an environment with human operators, and it's really simple to handle exceptions and to scale the system. In Element Logic, we have been working with automation of the warehouse for decades. So we have automated the good to person process. Now we're ready for the automated picking process. That's the reason why we think that robot piece picking is the next step in automation in your warehouse. Our perception of the market is that labor cost is increasing, the labor availability is also a challenge, so we think that automated to the next step is the market need so you can increase your business with your existing uh, warehouse. Contact Element Logic now to have us make a pickability test with your product.
with Deborah at the Cardex stand. So, Deborah, what is this new solution and why did you develop it? Picking and storage is time consuming, and Cardex developed Frame Pick for wholesale to meet the specific demands of our wholesale customers and our e-commerce customers. We based it on our LR35, which decreased walking distances by 65% for the operators, and this enhanced the picking performance massively. Picking errors are almost eliminated, which is really good news for many of our customers. Goods to person is fast. It offers greater productivity for our customers. And of course, space saving is always paramount. And we've reduced the footprint of the picking operation by close to 20%. Currently, I'm picking an order. It's indicated by the light indicator. And then I move my hand here, so then the machine turns. I can now select another order. The bin is being stored currently, and when I retrieve another order, I can pick another item. So I am joined with Ricky on the ice stand. So Ricky, tell us a little bit about Robo and what inspired it. Well, we've been working in the cleaning industry for uh, over 50 years. And what we have seen is that the cleaning process is, is being completely manual uh, with the use of sun technology in terms of clean, what we are in cleaning machines. Uh, but ultimately, uh, these cleaning machines are, are, are used by humans. Uh, working in the warehouse logistics and distribution market, what we have seen is a big, big increase in, auto, uh, in automation. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's led us to start to develop a, a robotic cleaning machine. We launched the Robo3 uh, in, two, in 2017, and since then it's been uh, automating that cleaning process, uh, reducing costs and improving standards uh, since, since, since it's been launched. So what kind of locations is it good for? Uh, any large warehousing space where you're currently cleaning uh, with, a, with either a pedestrian or a ride-on scrubber dryer, uh, this machine will actually be able to go, will, will, be, uh, will be able to go and actually uh, save save money, uh, reduce reduce the time of cleaning, and improve standards. And what kind of maintenance does it require? Uh, so we have a network of uh, service engineers across the UK and Ireland. Uh, they are uh, fully trained on robotics and are currently supporting uh, the 100 plus machines we have in the UK uh, and Ireland at the minute. Day two has been fantastic. We've had a great uh, opening for the show. There's been a lot of visitors through the aisles and we're delighted to be able to host the Women in Logistics 2019 conference. We've had 120 of their delegates uh, within our theatre, all there to learn and network and engage with our exhibitors as well. So day two has been fantastic. If you've missed out and haven't been able to come so far, day three and day four will promise, or promise to offer a lot. So there's a huge amount of technology uh, innovation and ways that you can save costs in your logistics operation. So Duncan, tell us a little bit about this machine behind us. Uh, so this is the Autobag 850S system. It's part of our range of auto bag systems which are aimed at the e-commerce and mail order market as well as industrial and various other markets. Does it takes preformed bags on reels it's got an inline thermal transfer printer on it, so in a, pack, in, a, in a packaging operation, the operator would take the product or the invoice, scan the barcode on there, right. and that'll send the carrier label to the thermal transfer printer, prints the carrier label directly onto the bag, and presents the bag for quick and easy loading. So the operator can quickly pack the, uh, pack the product, push the sealer bar, and then it's waiting for the next order. I mean, one of the benefits of the thermal transfer printer is that because you're printing the carry label directly onto the bag and not using a uh, paper label, it, makes, it means that the bag is 100% recyclable because it's a single material and it's low density polyethylene.
First time at the event, it's been amazing. I was a speaker here at the Women in Logistics Conference. I really enjoyed it, got some great feedback. But most of all, I saw a lot of colleagues and also uh, I worked closely with a charity. We're here on the stand of TransAid um, and I was so pleased to see them and support them and, and help them. It's been going very well. Um, so this is a great opportunity for us to talk to current corporate supporters, potential new supporters of the charity as well as well as promoting uh, cycle challenges and various other ways that you can support the organisation. It's really good to be here. Swiss Logger in 52 countries around the world. Uh, we've done over 2,000 installations in, in sort of automated solutions. Customers now are moving away from the fixed conveyor uh, lifts solutions yeah they become inflexible yeah with mobile robotic solutions yeah you can be more flexible to your yearly demands your growth yeah more flexible to the ever-changing business profiles that we see today um, and power store technology is used um, in, when you want high density storage of pallets yeah so we're seeing in in warehouses where we put it in today yeah uh, it's very flexible in an existing warehouse, a brownfield site, yeah, um, and it can increase pallet density, yeah, up to 60% more, yeah. It's also very, very flexible in terms of high-speed demand for pallets, yeah. The, the, the world of logistics today is getting faster, yeah, so this type of technology is critical in our solutions. So Randex were established in 2004 and we are the sole distributor for Welland Lager Systems and now Welland Solutions. The Welland Group is a major provider of, of industrial solutions within many different sectors in Sweden and throughout the world. Um, the, our partners we work with is Welland Solutions which is one of the companies which focus on the vertical lift and storage systems industries. We are featuring at this exhibition Compact Lift which is our, our, our core product. Um, this is designed obviously by Wellen Solutions. The key features of Compact Lift are that it has is 
design is based on rack and pinion uh, drive system. The rack and pinion system enables us to, to have a twin elevator which can handle two trays at once, which means that while the operator is picking from one tray in the opening, the elevator can be ret retrieving another tray from up to 20 meters in the machine, turning it into the opening, getting ready to present once the operator has finished picking from one tray. This enables us to deliver the fastest picking speed machine in, of this class. Compact Twin has been very popular within the distribution centers where people are reliant on speed of picking and picking accuracy because of the speed it can achieve in delivering trays to the opening. To get in touch with Randex, please contact us via our website, which is www.randex.com. We specialise in wireless, we specialise in wireless and warehouse environments. It's an area that's really difficult to design, so we've invested in our staff and the technology we use to design and survey in those environments. We, we offer anything from a post installation that's a validation survey um, for an existing installation where our clients may already be experiencing problems. Uh, it could be dropouts, could be coverage issues, just black spots around the warehouse and that sort of environment. The report gives us the information we need to take the customer on the next step of the journey. We can deliver three options. We deliver options of this is how we can do a quick fix in the environment and get the technology that you've already got working much, much better. Um, option two is to add to that. And again, it's a middle ground, so it's a middle cost. It's a good option for the customer. Sometimes, unfortunately, the technology isn't right that the customer's using. So we offer a complete redesign as part of our survey process. So using the kit, such as the one behind me, we're able to analyze the data that we can collect from our customer surveys. Using that information, we can compile a list of all the issues that a customer will be facing in their wireless network. So we can assure the customer that whatever issues they're having, if that be racking or other local network issues, that we can implement and design a solution that tailors their environment to their needs. This is a new concept called the SMART system. SMART stands for Self-Monitoring, Analysis and Report Technology. At McHugh, our solutions protect three main areas, people, assets and buildings. We want to take this a little bit further now because we put products and solutions into key areas, but how do we know that they're being impacted and how does the customer know they're being impacted? So what we have done is develop this system and analysis when the, the product is impacted, you can actually tell and report back to the customer the key areas. We hope to roll it out after the show. We've had some very, very good customer feedback and we want to tailor that feedback to actually doing some trials and gain that so we can actually modify the system to the customer's needs. This system is very universal and can be put into any different application, whether it's a McHugh product or whether it's an existing product. Just to demonstrate how this works and show the reporting technology, I'm going to impact this and then you will see on that system over there, that laptop over there, the graph. As you can see from the impact shock, because this radio frequency, it went into the red.